Welcome back. We are to our fifth mistake, misunderstanding carrying charges. First, let's define a few things. Options are a financial derivative product that give you the option of purchasing or selling a commodity at a price at a later date for only having to pay a premium. A put is an option to sell. A call is an option to buy. So you could pay a premium to have the option to buy or sell at a later date at a stated price. With puts and calls and options covered, now you might be thinking, how can I misunderstand carrying charges when I don't understand them in the first place? Storing grain is not free. Even if the bin were paid for, it's not free. Even if you don't have to dry or if you can, you have free propane. Storing grain is not free. First off, there's opportunity cost. You could be doing something else with that money. You might have to be paying interest on your operating line or loan. You might have storage fees. You might have drying cost. You might be losing actual volume to shrinkage. You might be losing quality to quality deterioration. And there's a cost to handling the grain. The market sends signals to encourage or disincentivize storage. So imagine, imagine corn is trading for 437 a bushel and someone comes to you and says, I will buy your corn, but I need you to hold on to it for a few months. How about $5? Well, done. Especially if, you know, maybe it only costs 15 cents a bushel to store. Let's reset with a slightly different scenario. This time, they are only willing to offer you 440 a bushel. Uh, no, that's not gonna cover your storage cost. Finally, it can get worse. What if they were only willing to offer you $4.30 a bushel? That is an inverted market, and that is definitely a signal to sell cash grain now. The point of this is that carry is a market determined storage cost. So, and it's a signal of whether you should sell now or sell later. Don't outsmart yourself by selling your crop at the low price in September so that you can buy call options for the purchase in the spring if that spread is wide enough to cover the actual storage cost. If carry is low, then making a bet that there is a spring upturn in the market at the cost of a call option may not be a terrible idea. May not be a good idea either. This is my first time working with Usset's diagrams and they are probably the clearest representation of these diagrams that I've seen. And I would really suggest that when you're considering things about carrying charges so you're considering whether it's worth it to store in particular or trying to get a sense for what the market is asking for to draw it out like he does that is the simplest and nicest i've i've seen so i definitely suggest checking that out Okay.